back to the piston engine aircraft and another major star of this year's air show, the rare Australian CA-19 Boomerang. Milling Gimby Ghost, as this aircraft is known, refers to the wartime Royal Australian Air Force Base at Milling Gimby Island in the Northern Territory of Australia. Often referred to as Australia's panic fighter, it was developed in 1942 as a direct response to the threat of the advancing Japanese forces. Incredibly, the first boomerang took to the air only 16 weeks after the decision to design and build an Australian fighter was made. Flown today by Wayne Milburn, originally from Nelson, this is the first time that a boomerang has been displayed in New Zealand. A roar from the Pratt & Whitney 1830 Wasp radial engine, and plenty of smoke, and the boomerang is away. The Pratt & Whitney engine in the boomerang is the same as used in the DC-3 and that along with the whistling of the wind over the gun ports gives the aircraft a very distinctive sound. In 1942 these engines were already being produced in Australia as part of the local production of Bristol Beaufort bombers. design also borrowed its centre section, tail group and undercarriage from the CAC Wirraway, which was at the same time being built in Melbourne. Owned by Lynette Sokoli of Toowoomba, Queensland, this is the only original airworthy example from the 250 aircraft that were built by the Commonwealth Aircraft Corporation. boomerangs eventually found their way to New Guinea. Although an agile aircraft, at high altitude it left much to be desired as a fighter, so it was largely used in the support and ground attack roles against the Japanese. Australian Air Force boomerangs would often mark targets with smoke flares, which the supporting RNZAF Corsairs would then attack. In this role, the boomerangs became affectionately known as Smokey Joes. <laughs> <laughs> 